In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Concord DirectX 12 not supported on your system error. So just follow me. As you can see, this is a Word over here, a Word document. However, I'm going to show you each and every single step on my computer as well. So you can simply follow me and you'll be able to fix this issue, hopefully. So the first thing we want to do to fix this Concord issue is to see whether we have DirectX 12 installed on our computer. Now you can see this in DX, D -I -A -G. and the way you can find this is very simple. You want to go down here to your kind of Windows taskbar and then go to search and type in run. Then you want to open this run application and type in what is said over here. So DX, D -I -A -G. as you can see, I have it typed already. You want to click OK then and it will open up a pop up window. As you can see, this is this pop up window and over here, you want to look down here to the very bottom where it says DirectX version and then if it says DirectX 12, you're set and that's it. That's all you need. That's this step done. In case it doesn't say 12 but it says DirectX 11 or 10, we're going to try to fix this right now. Now, the easiest way to do this is to look for Windows updates on your computer and update your Windows computer because if you do that, especially on Windows 11, which is which I'm assuming you're using, it will automatically update the latest version of DirectX 12 in case you don't have it yet. Now, the way you do this is by going to search yet again, typing in update, and then over here it will pop up which says check for updates inside system settings. You want to open this and then you want to click check for updates and if there's any updates, you simply want to update the latest update on your computer. <clears throat> If it says up to date, you're set and there's nothing you can do. Now you can try installing a DirectX 12 from the Microsoft um, website. However, the problem is that most of the time, if your computer doesn't update the DirectX 12 automatically while updating Windows, you probably won't be able to do it and this probably won't fix the issue. So once you have DirectX 12 installed, what you then want to do is continue to the next step. Now, step two, is to go to device manager and check which drivers you have and we will need this for later as I wrote over here. Now the way you do this is open up device manager by clicking search yet again typing in device manager there we go and you want to open this up you won't see this uh, pop up so just ignore it on my screen however you will see this device manager over here. What you then want to do is look for this thing which says display adapters. Now you want to click on it, double click or simply click this arrow on the side and then you want to see which graphics card you have. Now if you have two of them, just like I do, as you can see I have AMD Radeon which are integrated graphics which means the computer has its own integrated graphics and the, this graphics card inside the computer is actually not meant for gaming or anything else but it's just meant for basic computer uh, functionalities. But if you have two, like I do because I have a gaming laptop, you will also have another um, kind of graphics card as you can see I have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 laptop GPU I have a dedicated this is a dedicated separate graphics card uh, which is a good sign okay so if you have two of these that's a very good sign if you only have one ex uh, for example Intel or something like that don't panic because we still may be able to fix the issue however if you have two I can almost guarantee you you'll be able to play the game but as I said, if you only have one, for example, Intel, you may be able to play it too. Now, remember which video, which um, graphics card you have. For me, it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. You can write it down somewhere. And then you want to close this down. And then what we're going to do is download the newest NVIDIA slash AMD slash Intel drivers. <clears throat> now, what I mean by this is, of course, you have to know which, which card you have, which we just checked, and then we're going to install the latest drivers. Now, for NVIDIA, what you want to do is download the NVIDIA app or NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Just type either of that into Google. It's pretty much the same app, it does pretty much the same things. It doesn't matter which one you download. I have NVIDIA GeForce Experience, as you can see on my computer. As I said, type it to Google and you'll be able to download it directly from their website. You'll then have to log in. And then once you log in to this app, you'll see it says Home and Drivers up here. What you want to do, this is very important in case you have NVIDIA, you want to click drivers and then click those three dots over here on the right. Once you click them, you want to make sure 
you have Game Ready Driver selected, which will provide you the best gaming experience and the drivers your computer needs for games and gaming. Now, you want to have this green kind of circle over here where it says Game Ready Driver. When you have that selected, click Check for Updates and it will check for the latest driver. And then once you see it, as you can see over here for me, it's the studio driver, but for you, it's going to be the game ready driver. You wanna click download and simply let GeForce Experience app uh, install and download your new driver. Now, once you do that, restart your computer and then you probably will be able to play the game. Now, if you have an AMD com computer, so an AMD graphics card, which we just checked earlier, what you wanna do is download AMD Adrenaline app. I also have this on my computer. As you can see, it's called AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. You wanna open this. So you can either download this one, so the Adrenaline Edition, or simply uh, AMD Adrenaline app. It's pretty much the sim same app. Now, once you come in here, I don't think you have to log in, but if you do, log in. You wanna click on Home. And then over here on the right, you will see it says driver and software. Now for me, it says current version, and then you can see the version and when it was released. So if you have a dedicated graphics card from AMD, you'll be able to see if you're up to date or if you are uh, in need of update over here. If it gives you an option to update, or you can also click up here to go to system settings. If it gives you an option to update your driver over here, do so of course, and then yet again, restart your computer and you should be able to play the game. Now, if it doesn't give it the option, it means that you don't actually have a dedicated graphics card from AMD, just like I don't, as you can see, it doesn't say what driver I can update or what driver I have over here. So this means I only have an integrated AMD graphics card, but I had the um, dedicated one from Nvidia, as you were able to see, and I was able to update that one. Now, you can close this down, and if you have Intel, so in case you have an Intel graphics card, which is the, the third one, we're gonna, I'm going to tell you what to do in the next step, which is, as I said, step three. Now, over here, we're gonna manually download the newest NVIDIA slash AMD slash Intel drivers. So if none of these worked for you for some reason, this is what you need to do. For NVIDIA, you wanna go to this website, which is nvidia.com slash en-us slash drivers, and looks something like this. I'll show you over here, there we go. Now, you wanna go to this website and manually search for your drivers. So you have to select your product, product category. So for me, it's GeForce, and then you have to simply put in your details you saw in the device manager and wrote down earlier, and then click find, and it will look up the, the kind of the newest uh, game ready drivers for your computer. Now, it's the same for AMD. You wanna go to this website. Over here, you can simply rewrite it down and write it into your browser. And it looks like this. Over here, you can do the same thing. You can simply search for your AMD product and download the latest driver. Now for Intel, you wanna go simply type into Google Intel download driver, which I just did over here, as you can see. And then you wanna go to the first website, which is download Intel drivers and software and then click graphics here. And then what you wanna do is look for your uh, kind of graphics card. Now, if you don't find it, it means it's probably uh, that either it doesn't support the different drivers or newer drivers and it's an integrated card or um, you may have the latest version. But if you can find it and you can find the newest uh, kind of version, you may wanna download it and simply install it to your computer and then restart your computer and see if the game works for you. Now, that's the third and the final thing you can do for, as I said, the Intel um, graphics cards. And yes, I have one more thing to tell you. So unfortunately, Concord requires a dedicated graphics card most of the time. So most of the time, if you will only see an Intel graphics card in your device manager, it means you probably won't be able to play a game, sadly. However, still try because it may be possible you can go through and play. But if you have a dedicated NVIDIA slash AMD graphics card, you most likely will be able to play it after doing what I just showed you. Now, if you don't have a dedicated graphics card, as I said, there is a solution for you as well. As I said, uh, most of these new games that come out um, are made the way that you can just play them on a dedicated graphics card. <clears throat> so most of them, as I said, now, not all, but this one is such game. Now, the developers are very aware of that and are actually working on a fix. So even though 
if you have an Intel graphics card, you may be able to uh, play it soon because they're going to fix it and they're going to allow integrated graphics card to be used to play the game. Okay. Now, one more thing I wanted to add over here is that um, if you have Intel, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily integrated. However, if you can play and you did all these steps, but you still get the error, it may mean that, yeah, pretty much you will have to wait uh, for this to be solved. But if you want to solve this now and you don't want to wait, what you can do is actually buy a dedicated graphics card. So an additional graphics card for your computer which is a bit harder if you have a laptop and quite easy if you have a PC, so if you have the box. And then the second option is to simply buy a different computer, which is a bit more pricey, but of course, if you're that committed and that big of a gamer, you probably want to get a gaming computer and that's it. So I hope this video helped you out and the explanation was clear. And if it did, please subscribe to my channel and help me out as well.